So I've just come off a call with a company founder and we were talking about the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme and in particular getting the tax certificates for the investors. So when you go ahead and issue shares, raise money under SAS and EAS for that matter, uh, you've got to then go back to HMRC and complete what's called the compliance statement, SAS one form for SAS and it's EAS one form for EIS. Um, let me tell you the problem first and then we can jump to the solution. So this particular uh, company, what they've done is there's no problems with it, it's just a kind of it creates a bit of an admin burden um, they'd gone ahead and they'd issued shares to investors but they'd done it over a period of weeks so kind of uh, one week bunch of shares issued, SHO one form filed with the company's house, fine and then about two or three weeks maybe a month later another share issue another round of cash comes in, more shares issued uh, SHO one form filed with the company's house bang bang bang, this happened seven times over the period of about uh, nine, ten months. Um, so all separate share issues. Not absolutely fine legally, whatever. There's no problem with that. But when you come out to fill these SES1 forms, uh, they're a bit of a nightmare to fill out because there's quite a lot um, to them in terms of they're quite uh, slightly onerous to do. Um, but you have to do one form for each share issue. So in this case, this company suddenly said, you know, thought it was a quick job but they suddenly had seven or eight forms to have to complete for each share issue, and they kind of have to dovetail into each other, so that makes it more complicated because the earlier ones say, you know, what's happened since, have there been any further share issues, and they've all got to sort of stack up in line and make sure it all works uh, logistically. Um, so, and for not causing any problems. So this particular company, I mean, it would have helped for them if they had... Uh, the top tip, I suppose, is if at all possible, try and do the share issues in the smallest number possible. If you do it in one, brilliant, get all the cash in within a period of a few days, then issue the shares as one share issue afterwards, you know, line the cash up. Um, don't leave it too long because you can't have a period of weeks and then issuing the, issuing the shares because it can, might be deemed to be a loan to equity conversion, which is not allowable uh, unless it's a, an ASA, an ASA, Advanced Subscription Agreement, separate thing for that. That's, that's because beyond this discussion. But if you know the matter of you know, one day, you know, cash comes in one day one, shares issued ideal on the same day or day two, fine, or with a number of days. Um, two or three days maybe, and then share issues straight after, fine. Um, but this particular company suddenly had a bit of a nightmare because it becomes more costly to do this. It's not like a quick five-minute job to be able to do six or seven of these forms. It's quite laborious to do. Um, and the end result then is you, you know, it all goes well. Uh, with company's house and you get what's called the SS3 form and it comes back as a certificate that you then share with the investors for them to be able to claim the tax relief. So the top tip is here, if you can at all possible, get the share issues done within the smallest number possible, then you've got less form filling to do afterwards. Hope that's useful. Thanks for watching.